In international horticulture trade, time and information are crucial. Tons of fresh produce are weekly exported from Kenya to the Netherlands. To guarantee the safety and quality of origin, there are export certificates that are required. In the past, these certificates were printed on paper, but the Netherlands and Kenya have worked over the last 10 years on reliable electronic certification, which has many benefits. Using paper is quite a challenge, especially for a business like ours. We call it uh, a just-in-time business, where speed uh, is a necessity. We have uh, uh, everything is timed per second, and therefore any delay in the supply chain uh, becomes a real bottleneck. And that is what we were experiencing before, where we had to use paper in terms of processing of documentation. That took a lot of time. We used to do the work manual. We get what we are expecting. We forward to KFIS by email, and then we follow up manually. Somebody goes to check. Uh, we make calls. People used to go to check KFIS to and fro. But with the introduction of e-certificate, it has made our work very easy. We just apply online, we are ready to see if the certificate is ready. So we can say with the e-certificate, it has made our work easy. A lot of documents do not arrive together with the consignments due to errors at courier services or because back with certificates was lost. And this means that consignments will be blocked in the port. Now, by exchanging electronic information directly from one competent authority to the other, all the certificate information is guaranteed available at the moment of import. With electronic certification, we eliminate the paper in the certification process by exchanging electronic messages rather than paper forms. This will help us in our fight against counterfeit certificates because the information will be exchanged directly so nobody can interfere there. Electronic certificates and paper certificates are equally acceptable according to international standards. Having said that, countries using electronic certificates gain a lot of esteem within the international phytosanitary community because not many countries make use of this system yet. The journey to electronic certification started in the year 2009. Uh, before then, uh, we used to do a lot of paperwork, manual paperwork. Uh, where the inspectors would uh, write on uh, blank pages and uh, plain papers for the issuance of phytosanitary certificates. However, from that time, we realized that there was a lot of inefficiencies. There were qu quite a number of areas which we had identified as bottlenecks uh, around the issue of uh, seeds, around the issues of trade, around the issue of technology transfer around the issues of capacity building and because we wanted to work collaboratively to enable us to overcome some of those hurdles, the, thema the, the thematic working group was established, uh, which I chair. Of course there were disruptions because of COVID, but ideally was to improve on the interaction and the exchanges between Kenya and the Netherlands to allow technology transfer and also trade to flourish, especially agricultural trade. Uh, we sell our plants mainly in Europe. Uh, the biggest countries are Germany, the UK and France. And we import also a lot of flowers from all over the world to sell in Europe. From Kenya, we are importing uh, mainly roses. And it is about 500 million euros we import every year from Kenya. Uh, at the moment, we employ over 200,000 people directly in this uh, industry. We are looking at the expansion that uh, is likely to come. We are looking at about 250 in the next two to three years. And that just tells you where we are. Through the partnership, uh, the Netherlands government um, together with the Kenyan government, uh, then started a project which was uh, for automation of the phytosanitary systems in Kenya. And that's how the electronic certification came up with. And so that's a collaboration that we started, and that was in 2000, uh, 2011. For uh, two governments to work together on e-certification, first of all, you need trust. Trust between two countries. Um, trust in the systems, 
that means in institutes, public institute, to work together. And most of all, you need to have experts that can work together and understand each other. As a result of the strong uh, bilateral relationship, we started in 2019 the Agriculture Working Group. And there we touched upon many important issues uh, regarding the agriculture uh, relationship. We worked closely together and also with results. Uh, for instance, uh, we worked uh, together with the pest and disease prevention and the controls. And also we cooperated to fulfill the requirements to, uh, to make it possible that we trade uh, fresh produce. We have enhanced our services, official control services, in that we are able to receive uh, the request from the clients early enough. We are able to, to analyze and plan our inspection, diagnostics way in advance. This has enhanced our service delivery to our clients. Secondly, we have been able to issue the e-certificates very fast. Uh, because this is an electronic system, we normally send to the receiving country within the same day and they receive it. The e fight is very important because number one, it increases the efficiency of international trade in fresh produce. Number two, it reduces or eliminates chances of fraud because the two national plant protection organizations of the exporting country and the importing country have a system through which then they are able to transmit the e fighter to each other. Within a year we get like 250 to 300,000 tons of food. When you get this huge tonnage, uh, the e certificate has made our work to be more efficient and it is simple and effective to us in terms of cost. We believe that with the support from government, as we are working with KEFIS, we are able to transit everyone to onto this ECS and uh, bring in much more efficiency even as we export. By having the information electronically prior to the arrival of the flights, we can already start our risk assessments before the goods arrive. So in the end, let's say, we will be able to clear the goods even bef uh, during the flight from Kenya to the Netherlands which will be extremely beneficial to the border crossing procedures. It saves time and valuable resources. In this respect, it's for Kenya and the Netherlands a win-win situation. So this is a collaborative relationship that allows us to be in tandem with the changing dynamics in Europe so that we can continue business and we can continue trading with that very important economic block. The use of electronic certificates brings many benefits for both exporting and the importing country. This include better logistics since last minute changes are much easier, better risk assessment because information is available much faster, no shipments are blocked because of lost documents, and fraud prevention because the authorities communicate directly so information is first hand.